Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tip about preparing for next, the coming update of patch 5.0 and um, it's not too far away, it's actually coming next week which is actually pretty exciting. And one of the biggest changes coming with this new patch is gearing and uh, the fact that we're now going to be getting these eternal command crates. So the way that we can gear at higher levels for both PvE and PvP are through these RNG crates. And the one downside of these crates is that you're not guaranteed to get a set bonus armor. So for example, you could be at command rank 300 and opening and earning these crates, you know, and opening them a ton and still not have a full set bonus, which is actually very, very unfortunate for PvPers because under the current system, it is very, very easy to get a full set of PvP gear with a set bonus, both the basic gear, which you can earn just by doing a few war zones and then then obviously the ranked gear which you earn by spending a lot more war zone commendations they all contain set bonus and that makes a huge difference in your performance and it definitely makes a difference in pve and also at the ease of going through uprisings and story chapters and all that stuff uh, for those of you who might not know a set bonus is basically if you have like i think six pieces of the gear then you not only get an increase to your damage that you do i think it's a two percent increase you also have the reduction of cooldowns on some of your abilities and an auto crit and those are actually very very important and they can really give you an edge when it comes to pvp but under this new system it is going to be a lot more difficult to now get set bonus gear and so one of the tips that I have for you guys and one thing that I'm going to be using for all of my characters is to get your set bonus gear right now and there are numerous ways to do this for example on one hand you can use up all of your excess warzone commendations keep in mind warzone commendations any sort of data crystal they're all being removed in patch 5.0 so you have absolutely no need to hold on to them any ones that you have remaining right now will be converted to credits but it's the conversion rate is so low there's absolutely no need to hold on to them and so there's two things you can do on one hand you could convert them to credits i have a whole separate video talking about the best ways to do that but for those of you guys who don't really care about credits and more care about performing in pve and pvp what you can do is right now convert it to set bonus gear and a lot of you guys watching this video might go well we already do pve and pvp and so we already have set bonus gear on our mains well i'm suggesting that you also go ahead and get that set bonus gear on your tunes or any other character that you anticipate using after patch 5.0 hits and the reason being is um, you're already going to have that set bonus and that set bonus is associated only with the armoring in that gear so that's the only thing you'll actually keep in your gear uh, the mods and the enhancements you can actually extract that from the new gear that you get out of the command crates so essentially what that means is you'll be running around after patch 5.0 with a full set of gear that gives you a set bonus but also has very comparable stats to the higher level gear the only thing that will be bringing you down stat wise is the fact that you're keeping that armoring which is lower level so you might lose out on a significant number of stats considering it's armorings all across your armor set so that's like seven uh, armoring so if you if each of your armorings is giving you like 20 less mastery well then that's seven times 20 less mastery that you're going to have on all of your characters however i think that the set bonus and the bonus that it gives you to both your damage and the fact that you get an auto crit and stuff all of that definitely compensates for the fact that you're losing out on a few stats and so that's why i would suggest going ahead and getting a set bonus on any character you plan on playing with patch 5.0 uh, one other quick thing is guys bolster a uh, bolster does definitely help to standardize some of the st stats so once again if you're worried about losing a few stats from the fact that you have a lower level armoring in your gear well keep in mind not only are the mods and the enhancements completely up to date and that's going to bring you up you can also use augments to give you give you an upper hand and then bolster will really not will really make it so that having a lower level armoring does not affect you that much and everything is basically bolstered nowadays uh, flashpoints are bolstered for people at lower levels pvp war zones are definitely bolstered and especially when you're leveling up from 65 to 70 having that set bonus is really going to help you in war zones and stuff like that so you should definitely invest in this it really is one of the best things to spend your war zone commendations on at this point in time once again if you're not looking for credits now i use the example of war zone commendation so that's one of the easier ways i think in my opinion of getting access to a, a to a full set of gear that gives you a set bonus the only other way is to actually run operations and try to get them from uh, drops from operation bosses once again that's gotten um uh, 
a component of RNG associated with it. And it's probably at this point in time, if you're trying to get a full set, it's going to be very difficult. But it's very, very easy to get Warzone commendations. Just go run a few Warzones. Um, you have to run it on the character now because you cannot transfer Warzone commendations across characters anymore. So let's say, for example, you just leveled up a Sith Assassin. You actually plan on maining a Sith Assassin in patch 5.0. I would suggest that on that character, you run war zones, you get a full set of PvP gear that has a set bonus associated with it. And the reason for that, once again, to recap, is because under the new gearing system, it's going to be very, very difficult to get a set bonus. So if you already have one going into it, then what you can do is when you get the new gear, you can just take out the mods and the enhancements out of that new gear and put it into your old PvP gear. Now, although you're going to be losing out on some stats because the armor you have in that PvP gear is a lower level, you will ultimately have better DPS output by virtue of the fact that you have a set bonus that is giving you a better damage output, an auto crit, and even a reduction of cooldowns or reduction of the energy used by certain abilities. Now, for those of you guys who are definitely planning on doing this, this should also be a cheaper, uh, this also should be pretty cheap for you guys because one of the things is to get the set bonus, you only need to buy six pieces of the gear. So, for example, you only need to buy anything from the headpiece to the boots. You actually don't need to spend the Warzone commendations to get the saber or the, uh, or the lightsaber or the blaster or any of the relics or any of the earpieces and stuff because none of that contributes to the set bonus. So, it's not going to be as expensive in terms of Warzone commendations as it is to get a full set of pvp gear we're only talking about getting the things that actually give you a set bonus and so that's once again the helmet the upper body armor the belts boots bracers and that kind of stuff and you only need six of those pieces to get it and so basically it's a much cheaper solution and um, yeah so that's just a really quick tip that i had for patch 5.0 Personally, I'm definitely using it because I've leveled up quite a few characters with, for the Dark vs. Light event. I leveled up a Sith Assassin and a Jedi Guardian. And for both of those characters, I don't have any set bonus gear. And so, and I plan to play on them when patch 5.0 hits. And so for, those, for both of those characters, I'm now going to run some war zones and get that full set of gear. Because it, I know for a fact it's really going to help with DPS output and gearing after patch 5.0. And for any of you guys... For any of you guys who might have characters like that, I definitely suggest you do the same. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys found it informative, I will see you in the next one.